Hi, this is David Eyes. I'm the publisher of Blitzy Press and creator of Retroread.com, where you can convert Google's public domain EPUBs to the Mobi format used by your Kindle, forward them direct to your Kindle, and also include them in a library where others will be able to search and download them. In this video, I want to just quickly demonstrate how easy it can be to do just that. Convert a book from the Google EPUB format to the Mobi format for your Kindle. So here I am at the Google, at the, I'm sorry, at the RetroRead site, and I'm going to log in. And you do need to do that. You do need an account, you need to register, and you need to log in to convert a book. You don't need to do that if you're just going to download books that you find there that others have created already. So I'm going to click Search and Create, and we get to a page where we find the Google Advanced Search presented inside of a frame. And um, this is at the Google Books, and we've made a few selections for you already, already like Full View which are the um, public domain books are going to be full view. Selected books, magazines don't copy so well, and we've also filtered the date. So with the advanced search, though, you've got the option to search for a title, a specific title or a specific author, even publisher. I, I like that sometimes you find uh, an old world publisher that you really like and just kind of nose around, see what else they've done. And you can also search by subject, although their categorization um, at least last time I looked, left a lot to be desired, so I generally pass on that. So instead, I'm just going to enter a search for Italian Revolution here, and it does a full text search, but obviously a book with an Italian Revolution title is going to be high relevancy, so that's what came up first. And we've got this title uh, written in 1875, back when people were interested in the Italian Revolution as somewhat current history. And uh, I'm going to download it using this download feature that they have. And it's important to, no to note that not all books are going to have that EPUB option. They're all going to have PDF. But if it's multiple column or highly complex uh, visually, uh, they can't really create an EPUB uh, automatically using their OCR techniques. But this title does have an EPUB, and Google is going to ask to see that I am a human being, and they think I am. And so I'm going to save it in my EPUB folder. And now that it's uh, downloaded, I can go up here to the top, to the upload bar, and I'm going to click the Browse button, and I'm going to history, yep, I'm going to, there's the title I found. And then I'm going to, I can either just upload the file, sort of set it and forget it, or if I say upload and edit, uh, which I, I really recommend and request that you take the extra minute to do because it gets a much better result. And since this book will go into the library, uh, your efforts will be appreciated by others who, who download the book. And, and what, what I mean by editing is simply, um, Google, you know, pretty reasonably uh, includes graphical images of all the front matter, uh, but those are those can be a little obnoxious on the Kindle because you just got to page through them, and on a desktop not so bad, but on the on the Kindle refresh it's still a little uh, a little annoying. So I'm going to delete this uh, fake cover. I've got some lovely end papers in this book, but I'm going to delete them. This guy's hand there, and as you see, every time I click next image defaults to delete. I'm going to delete the half title. This I want to include. I want to include the, the full title of the book as the title, the author, the publisher. Visually interesting. I'm just going to save that one page, I think, see what else they've got. And don't really want that page. And I also usually don't include the contents. Uh, that That's sort of a dealer's choice kind of thing, I guess, but uh, they're not active and they or just another page you got to get through to get to the front of the book. So I've gone through the front matter, and I'm just going to say commit. And my title is now submitted for conversion and will be converted in about five minutes. Oh, and here we are already. And it's been added to the top of the list. Doing sort of a Julia Child thing. I had it already in the oven. 
anyway, um, there you go. It's that easy. And if we want to look at it, I can I can download it to my desktop here because I have the Kindle client on the desktop. I could click OK and would email it to my delivery preference that I've set in my profile. Or if I just wanted to go straight into my Kindle browser, I could enter this uh, tiny URL, uh, r to Mobi slash little a o r, and that will download the book uh, also directly to my uh, to my Kindle. Anyway, but I'm going to hit download, and I'm going to open it here on my desktop just so we can see what kind of result we got. So there's the book, and there's the front matter. And uh, just based on a first gla glance, it looks like this was a pretty clean OCR. And that's pretty much all I have to show for this little video. I just want to show you what the steps are to search, download, and upload a title to RetroRead and make it available in the library where you can get at it and others can too. Thanks very much. Happy reading.